Hi, this is Katie Weeks, your independent close to my heart maker. And today I'm joining with the Makers with Heart for yet another mystery envelope challenge. And all seven of us are posting this morning and we received our envelopes from Lori Cooch. So she says that we need to use every piece of paper, at least a small bit of it in our project. We can add other card stocks and embellishments are free to use as well but we cannot use a technique that's normal to us. We need to use something maybe this is someone else's technique. And um, so I decided I would ink up a bunch of edges to my paper and I would add some flowers and try to shape them and also shade them and um, give a nod to some of my fellow, fellow makers with hearts. So I am using, um, one of our large, what do you call it? Slimline cards. And I'm going to start by trimming these two four by six sheets of paper down so that they are four by three quarters of an inch. So I slice the two papers at the same time up in my little trimmer. And then I'm going to be layering them on a, a piece of white daisy that is three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I'm just arranging what order I would want them in. And I'm like, oh, I don't think I want polka dots next to each other. And so I start turning some over and then I'm like, oh, I still have some polka dots next to each other. So I need to swap a couple next. So they are um, separated and I go through and I get my papers in the order that I like. Oh, and this piece is actually four by eight and a quarter, but I'll trim it down later. So I'm going through and I believe it's Jessica Dipsinski that often um, inks up the edges of her cardstock and her papers. And so I'm inking those up. Sometimes I stay in frame and sometimes I don't. And I'm going to lay, layer them up on this uh, piece of white daisy cardstock. Once I finish inking them all up and adding them to that white daisy cardstock, I'm going to trim it down so that it's three and one quarter by eight and one quarter. And that gives me another three fourths of an inch by eight and a quarter that I have extra. And I'm going to ink the edges um, of both of those panels that I've cut on each side. It's a lot faster to do these tiny ones if I just do them all together. And then I'm going to layer that panel on a piece of the light color of Ballerina that is three and three eighths by eight and three eighths. And it just gives me a touch of that pink around the outside. And then I'm going to put that on the front of my card. And then after I layer this panel on, I'm going to put that skinny little one um, on a piece of the um, ballerina cardstock the same way. And I first need to ink up the edges down both sides. And the piece of ballerina cardstock that I'm layering it on is like seven eighths of an inch wide by eight and three eighths of an inch. So it gives just another peak of that pink all the way around. And I put it just on the inside of the card to kind of tie the inside to the pretty outside that I am decorating. Perfect. Okay, so the next part, I'm going to take my avocado ink and the Party Balloons stamp set, really any stamp set with a happy birthday sentiment would work great. And I'm stamping it on that wood grain. Um, all of these uh, papers were from the Four Seasons Spring uh, paper pack. And I don't know that it's still available, but um, you might be able to get it in a bundle. Um, you can certainly look on my website and see what's available. Um, so I'm stamping it on that wood grain side with avocado ink. And then I'm going to trim this little panel down and I'm going to use the opposite side um, 
as a layer to put underneath the sentiment panel. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to actually dovetail the right end of both of these um, pieces of paper and I'm going to ink them up to continue with that whole um, distressed inked edges look. And you know, I just cut up from the center and then from each corner up to that center point and that gives me the perfect dovetail. And when I'm going to ink up a dovetail, I like to fold that end and then it makes it very easy for me to get in that little pointed edge and then I can ink up my edges. Then I will layer these together and layer them on the front of the card. I want to layer them a little bit over to the right hand side and um, leave room on the left for some flowers in a minute. And Lori also sent us some shimmer trim. I'm not sure what this yellow is, if it's lemonade or what color it is. It doesn't look like it's still available, but I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive on a scrap piece of paper, sticking that down really well, and then it makes it easy to pull up that adhesive backing. And oh, I should have cut the dovetail on this before I peeled that up, shouldn't I? Okay, so I'm cutting the dovetail and I'm going to layer that underneath the banners for the happy birthday. And then the next thing I need to do is cut some flowers. I pulled out an old thin cut set that's called Stitched Flowers. It has both flowers and leaves in that set. And I pulled out some cardstock. I just grabbed them from my uh, scrap bucket. I believe I have Flamingo, Capri, it might be a sunny yellow, it's a retired color, and I think green apple is the other thing I found in my scraps. And um, this is a nod to Amanda Ross, who is famous for putting flowers on everything, layouts and cards. And so, uh, and she makes them look very realistic. Now, I don't know that I achieved them the realistic look as much as Amanda does. Um, I did not layer up any flowers, but I inked up the edges and she does that often to give them a more realistic feel. And then I came in with um, uh, tools that I think I saw on Amanda's channel and some other ones. If you see those pink tools up on my mat, those are metal ball fondant tools. I think they use them in like cake decorating, but um, Katie doesn't spend as much time in her kitchen as she does her craft room. So of course they're up here with me to shape flowers. So um, what I'm going to do is take those tools and roll them on the front of the flower. That will make the flower kind of roll up. And then I will, um, use a bone folder for the back. And on both the leaves and the edges of the flower, I kind of roll them so that they roll backwards with that bone folder. Um, I even used those uh, roller balls in the middle for the centers of the flower. And I like to use some sort of like either the foam dots, 3D foam dots or um, I think these were Zots. It was one of my little adhesive things that would allow it to kind of be rounded. And I even used that on the back of these flowers so that it gave the, a little bit of lift on the leaves as well. And then the middle stuck all the way down onto the card front. So then I just need to put in some of the leaves and I cut those little adhesive glue dots in half and those micro tip non-stick scissors are perfect for cutting things like this. And here's my finished card. Thank you Lori for sending us this month's mystery envelope and I hope you will go check out all of the other makers with heart and see what they have created. I will add a playlist link to the description below along with all of the supplies that I used to make this card. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed to 
hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell for all of the notifications. Feel free to leave a sweet comment and share this with your crafty friends. And as always, have a great day.